Let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Nung Bodun, who was one of Ajahn Mun's first students, once said that the ways of the world come in pairs. There's gain and there's loss, there's status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, and pain. But the Dharma, he says, was one thing clear through. It's the happiness that comes from giving. We start with giving material things, and then we learn there are deeper and deeper ways of giving. You give knowledge, you give your time, you give your energy, you give your forgiveness for others. Strange that that seems to be the hardest of the bunch. It doesn't cost anything, and it clears up your mind. And this is when you begin to realize that virtue, too, is a form of giving. You're giving safety to others. In meditation, you're giving lack of greed, lack of aversion, lack of delusion in your relationship with other people as a result of meditating. In all these ways, you benefit and the people around you benefit as well. So much of the world in its gain and loss and status and loss of status creates divisions because some people gain and other people lose. In fact, some people's gaining depends on other people's losing. But with the Dharma, everybody benefits, everybody wins, which is why the practice of merit, generosity, virtue of meditation is such a good way of finding happiness. It harms no one, and happiness spreads around and erases boundaries. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you look like. Everybody benefits. So keep that in mind as you look for happiness in the world. The best kind of happiness is the happiness that comes from giving. And you realize how wealthy you are. The more you give, the more you realize you've got wealth inside. Generosity itself is a form of wealth. And as you work on your virtue, you work on your powers of meditation. The mind gets wealthier and wealthier. You have more and more to share. If the whole world were to find happiness in this way, there wouldn't be all the conflict that we see every day. But we can't wait for the whole world to be like this before we do it. We have to start. It starts with us. Because we're the ones building our world right now. So to whatever extent we can build a good world through our generosity, through our virtue, through our meditation. It's all to the good. The word merit in Pali, banya is the Pali term. Merit is the usual English translation. It's a very inadequate translation. Last year I was reading an article by someone saying that the time for merit is over. Nobody believes in rebirth anymore. Nobody believes in the power of the Sangha to be a field of merit. Well, it's like saying that the time for goodness is past. The time for appreciation, appreciating goodness has passed. That would be a sad world. It wouldn't be a human world, that's for sure. We develop our humanity through our goodness. So think of it as doing good. You're generous, you're doing goodness. You're, you're virtuous, you're doing goodness. When you meditate, you're doing goodness. You're creating more and more goodness for this world, which is so hungry for goodness. So this is the way in which Dharma is one thing clear through. It's giving all the way. You finally give up your defilements. And as the Buddha pointed out, when you give, it's not that you are depleted. The more you give, the better things you get in return. Well, they're not really things, the qualities of the mind. And this way everybody benefits all around. And we find that we have the sources for wealth inside that we didn't suspect before. And as we develop them, they get stronger and stronger.